In this video, I'm going to show you how to upload your designs on Teespring. First step, log into your Teespring account. If you don't have an account, make sure to create one. Then go ahead and click on this button which says start designing. You can also go here and from this list, you can go to the home page and then you can go and click create design. But the easy and the straightforward option is to click this button start designing. It will take you to this page. On this page, you'll find all the products on which you can upload your design. You have to first pick a product on which you want to upload the design. Let's say that later on you want to upload the same design to multiple products. You need not do the same step again. You can just go ahead and add more products to that design. For this example, we are going to choose this product, men's t-shirt. Once you click on it, it will take you to this particular design page. It is called as create your product page. So here we have the sample product or the first product, which is the men's t-shirt. To upload a design on this t-shirt because you need to know how it is going to appear on a t-shirt that's why you need to have a product first and then click on this button to upload a design if you already have a design you can use that or else if you want to create it using this platform you can click add text and that will bring a text box here using which you can add text to your design so let's click add image so it will directly open up your computer I'm going to go to the downloads area and this is the image I downloaded from Vexels.com. So that is an amazing platform where you will find lots of good looking designs. See, after a fraction of a second, it will show up on your t-shirt. So this design in case you are interested or if you want to know where I picked up this design, it is from this platform called Vexels. I leave a link to this platform down below in the description box. They have all kinds of cool products. You can also search up, let's say that you are in a particular niche, probably in a mom niche. Then you can search up mom and it will show all t-shirts related to mom. Or let's say you are in the camping niche, it will show all t-shirts. I think you got the point. So let's go back. Once you have uploaded, it is the front view. So you are on the front view. Let's say that you want to upload it to the back side of the t-shirt. Probably you want to upload another design. Or let's say that you want to add a text, maybe your brand name. You can switch it using this button front back and on the back side let's say that I want to add my company's brand name I can go ahead and type here probably let's say nerdy and let's change the color probably gray and reduce the size a little bit and we can center it like that that's just an example again we can go back to the front maybe if you want you can reduce the size a little bit all these are ready to go ready to go images which is on the PNG format you can directly download from vexels.com then here you can go ahead and add more colors to your product so these are all the colors you can add but I don't think this looks good okay this one doesn't look good this one is fine okay now let's say that I want to choose uh, the default color or the first color that the buyer is going to see then in that case you can go and click edit right now it is navy this is what the buyer is going to see at the first time when he comes to your shop but let's say I want to change it to black I can choose the black one and I can click done so that will be my first color the buyer is going to see once you are good with this part then you can change the pricing if you want you can set the price and accordingly the profit margin is going to change so let's say that you want to change it to 29.99 and your profit margin would be somewhere around $10 per sale. So that's it. That's how you upload. Finally, if you want to take a look at it, preview it, you can click the preview button and see how it is going to look. So this is going to be the final output because when you are on the design mode, so you see all these uh, dotted lines. So basically, if you put your image outside of this box, then it is not going to be printed. So click the preview and have a look at the final output. Once you are good, go ahead and click continue. And in case, like I mentioned earlier, in case if you want to add it to more products, because right now if you see the only product on the list is on the left side, which is men's t-shirt. Let's say that you also want to add more styles to it. Click on select styles. And from here you can choose all different styles that you want to add to your teespring listing so this listing in turn you are going to add it to your or connect it to your teespring store if you choose all the styles that you want to add but let's say that for this example we are just going to have one t-shirt and then probably one woman's t-shirt let's select a woman's t-shirt from here probably i like this one then i can either click done 
or let's say I see this particular image is not centered properly or not in the right location I can go ahead click edit this will again take me back to this designing page here I can it's in the preview mode toggle to the design mode and select the design let's say I want to shrink it a little bit move it to the top a little and leave it like that now go back to preview so if I am happy with the design okay all right now it looks good I'm going to click continue see now this product is also added to the same design so that's what I was talking about you need not upload the same designs to multiple product initially you just pick any product of your you know of your choice and then later on you can add the, the products to your you know uh, the design so let's say let me select a uh, toti bag i'll go and select this click done that is also added okay maybe a tank top select i like this one and if you want to add a premium one you can choose that okay maybe this one let's choose that click done click continue it'll take you to the next step so this is where you can add it to a store so what we created is called a listing this is what is called a listing because this particular design is on multiple products and once you add it to a store all these different products will be connected to your store so here you can choose the store that you want if you have created the account for the first time in that case you won't find a lot of stores here since I had this account created long back I mean when uh, Teespring uh, the old Teespring uh, was having option to create multiple stores but right now in the new teespring you do not have an option to create multiple stores so in that case you will find only one store pick that add a title description url and then you can publish your listing however make sure to optimize your listing probably i'll create another video where i show you how to add titles descriptions url also when you upload your file how you should name the file so all these things will contribute to uh, the SEO of your products also the way the URL that you use for your Teespring uh, store all those things are connected and that will help you to uh, put your products on uh, the Google search engine so when people are going to search for uh, funny cat t-shirt in that case you will have a very good chance to rank because Teespring has a good authority even though you're going to connect your own custom domain if you're not sure how to connect a custom domain I'll put a link on top of this video somewhere here so that you can go and watch it and that is going to give you a brand since now there is no Teespring marketplace you have to drive traffic in that case you need to brand your store and if you want to brand your store you need to add a custom domain and when you add a custom domain then you're going to put it on uh, Instagram and other social media platforms to drive traffic but end of the day if you optimize your listing it is going to rank on the uh, search engines because after a few steps again they are going to go back to the teespring's billing section it's not going to be on your billing section it's going to be on teespring's billing section so anyways it's all uh, associated there is going to be some link juice and your designs are going to rank well so make sure to you know subscribe to this channel so when i upload a next video on optimizing your uh, designs or your products uh, you will be notified when i upload the next video so make sure to subscribe to this channel and also hit the bell to be notified because only if you hit the bell you will be notified when I upload a new video with that being said we have come to the end of this video I'll see you guys in the next video until then bye bye take care